today we're at Gunther Works. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I mean, you can't beat this Southern California. You know, weather in November, it's like 80 degrees, so it's perfect. My name is Ravi Dilwani. I'm a Zone 8 member of PCA, Orange Coast Region. Uh, this is a 1982 SC fully customized, fully restored. Uh, the whole ethos of the car was to mix, uh, you know, modern technology, make it look classic, but really just, you know, 2021 frontier stuff that you've never really seen before. Kind of give it like a 73 RSR type feel. It is a 3.9 liter. Uh, take a uh, board out from a 3.6 from a uh, 993. It's also got a G50 transmission from a 993. It's drive-by wire. It's MoTeC ECU standalone. Upgraded Mali pistons, powder rods, uh, with you know custom center lock wheels uh, from Rotoform. That's a one-off. That's a brand new wheel design from Rotoform. It's a three-piece forged wheel. It's a CMP is the model number. It's got a 935 style X brace in the front. KW V3 suspension. Uh, all the underpinnings is all Terrett and ERP. It just debuted at SEMA last week and uh, it made it to the top 12 of the Battle of the Builders competition, which is a pretty, uh, you know, uh, crazy competition to be at. So that was pretty cool that people are really receiving the car nicely. It's got authentic Goyard handbags cut up for the interior, uh, Sparco SPX seats, you know, a ton of titanium bits for my friend Dominic at Chase and Jays. And uh, yeah, I mean, the entire car can be found on our website at CSF Cooling. Uh, it's got a full spec list, you can check it out there. My name is TJ Russell and this is a 1991 uh, C4 Cabriolet. I have a big uh, love for off-road, spent a lot of time uh, Glamis out in the desert and uh, at that time, this was about six years ago when this whole, I guess, idea kicked off and uh, the Safaris had just gotten pretty big, Lee Keen was, you know, a couple deep in those and I was just really inspired by them and I thought they were sweet and I wanted to take it to the next level. Uh, it's like, you know, upgrade all the suspension, full cage, custom body kit, max it out to really make the most capable off-road 911 that we could. I guess it's more of an unlimited version of a, of a Safari, but um, custom suspension throughout, custom arms. Uh, we upgraded the hubs, all the bearings, the drivetrain, pretty much everything. The idea was to be able to create a car that could go do the Nora 1000, the Nora 500, and uh, kind of drive to the steakhouse afterward. Just a, a, a universal, um, go anywhere, do anything sort of luxury pre-runner. I'm probably pretty proud of the bodywork. I, I, I modeled that by hand, and then we digitized it, scanned it, and made parts. Um, another cool part that's one of my favorites is the molded rear window. Uh, I turned that into an air duct that feeds the oil coolers in the back. So really, there's I mean, there's a ton I could go on, but you just start start from the front and work your way back, and and there's something custom. Gary Scott, I'm from the Grand Prix region here in Southern California. This is a modified 1974 914. The car was originally a 74. Uh, the previous owner took it uh, down to bare metal, put on the uh, GT fender flares, did a uh, Subaru conversion. Uh, it's a two liter flat four boxer motor. Uh, suspension modifications, the wheels, the interior, of course, now it's a water-cooled motor. It's a blast to drive. Uh, it accelerates fantastically. It has 260 uh, rear wheel horsepower, gets up and goes. It's a little more uh, rougher than the other ones, but the, the factor of just being able to get out and drive it and stop and hearing the turbo pop is, uh, is a glorious sound. It's painted uh, actually a factory Lamborghini green, which was Verde. Ithaca Green, which was a factory color back, I believe, 2007, 2008. So it's a three-stage paint, um, and uh, once again, just uh, a gorgeous car.
Hey guys, I'm Lorenzo Strong with West Coast Customs. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Brand Partnerships, and I had the amazing rare opportunity to showcase our Porsche 911 here today at Unstock in Huntington Beach. So this car started out as an original 911S. The 911S was not as desirable to the client that we built this car for, so he wanted a reimagined RSR RS tribute. So we took the best qualities of each one of those cars and made a street-driven, um, very desirable looking car that you can get in and drive on your weekend drives or if you just want to take a, a run through the mountains. Um, this car is set up to do everything you want it to do. To make it drivable, we wanted to go with a stock uh, Porsche platform and then enhance it a bit. So we took a 993 factory engine, we did individual throttle bodies to make it appear to look like period correct RSR. Um, and then we fuel injected it, and then we mated that with a 915 transmission and all RSR adjustable suspensions. If you look at some of the Outlaw-esque, you know, tributes to the car, we added an external oil cooler up front. Um, we've got an extra, I think it's 13 quarts of oil that are running through this motor to keep it, you know, air cooled and uh, make it as drivable as possible if you want to get in it. We're here in Huntington Beach, best place, you know, surf capital of the world and now car capital of the world. We're here at Unstock showcasing all these amazing Porsches and it was an extremely fun event and there's something here for everybody. So if your taste is, you know, the old 356s, there was a handful of those. We have plenty of the G-Body 911s and then we had stuff all up in through the GT3 based cars and uh, everything in between. So if there was something that uh, you were looking for, look out for it next time and come to this event next year.